Well, we also to discover some wild mushrooms here. You never want to eat these. You never want to eat these because these are, these are poisonous. And as much as you may like mushrooms, you not want to eat these. Yeah, they look like, a, you know what it looks like? You ever watch that show, The Smurfs? Yeah. It looks like The Smurfs house. Smurfville. Yeah. Here. We've made an interesting discovery. Is the microphone? Yeah. We've made an interesting discovery on our walk along the way here. Yeah, people need this. It's a Royal Canadian dog turd. <laughs> Juicy no flies. <laughs> This morning we want to do this um, walk through the um, Lewiston Park in Niagara Falls. It's a really beautiful park. Got a beautiful wedding venue here and um, Government of Canada. This lady played a major role in the war of um, 1812. Um, there's a story about that here. So this is one of the entrances of um, Queen's Lewiston Park. There are some beautiful flowers here. These are cannas. Yellow cannas. See. These people play a big part in the history of Niagara Falls here. So like I said, this is one of the main entrance. There's beautiful walking path here um, we're looking at the Niagara Parkway there and beyond the parkway we have another trail to walk walk over here so one of the entrances are here here's Monique and my husband John, Mateoya and Monty uh, we're going heading that way to see Sir Isaac Rock statue that at the top of that very tall pole up there. Hi, sweet man. Hi, baby. baby pig park where most people use but this is where you have your little um, food stand which is closed right now because of the COVID-19 and we're sort of heading to the end of the season actually um, and as you know most of the trees in these Niagara Parks area have a name and, wh and where they're from native of what country they're from on areas of Canada um, this is one of those covered picnic area that we use in the summertime to do picnicking 
you have um, football field here, soccer rather, football, and I think there's a couple of baseball diamonds out here as well. This is at one of part of the path, the bike path and walking path that's here. And you have your bicycle repair and pumping station where you can. Dad is making pretend he's popping up on his tires. I don't think he's looking at the pop up yet. He's changing. Let me change it. <laughs> What's he doing, Monty? What's he doing? <laughs> Say go. 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 Parks look a little bit busy today. You have more kids. When I was here last time, it was basically empty. Uh, yeah, then again, it was pretty hot, so. It's a, it's a much cooler day today, so I can see why the kids will be out playing today. As you can see, and the parking lot looks pretty busy too. So I don't know if they're having a game here or not. But anyways, there's a few. I guess you could say thanks to COVID. It was just sitting down there. Not being used at all this year. It's a pretty big one. Must be pretty. You can just imagine how busy it would have been in the summertime when it's functioning. shell for summer concerts and beside it we have that beautiful gazebo over there I'm pretty sure the restaurant use it when they use it for for wedding for pictures so this area of the park is designated to the natives and their contribution to the war This guy here. And then we have this gentleman here in recognition for them and their tribe. And this will archway lead you to the other the rest of this part of the park that is dedicated to them. These are a list of our native allies in the war of 1812 and there's a memorial for them, memorial war with the heads of each tribe. You have this one. Beautiful actually. Allies, War of 1812, and then we have this one here, Peace and Reconciliation, see as the head of each of the tribe here, that is in recognition of them, and on the bottom of this it said People of the Standing Stone. Each of these tribal leader has one of those there and at the bottom of this 
in front of it you have that. And the trail we continues, need, eh? We, go for, we need uh, take a week off. Yeah. Maybe two. Especially maybe seeing two. how they um. Perhaps I'm gonna pick you up at the range. You don't want to walk all the way back, though, neither. Yeah. Unless you know what you do. Thing with feathers, John. I do I know? That's pretty feather, actually. You that? A blue jay. Well, the no, natives are There's no around. blue in there. Oh, it's a woodpecker then. Is that black and white? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a woodpecker. Then. <laughs> I can see where your color blind is coming <laughs> into play, dear baby. If it's black and white, it's probably a woodpecker. If it's blue and but like that, it's a blue. Well, black. it's more grayish than black. Well, it might be a woodpecker then. Okay. I should save that. Though. I know you have a thing for feathers. I do. I like feathers. Because they last forever, too. Like that. Really? Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Then a woodpecker pecked on the schoolhouse door, he pecked and he pecked till his pecker was sore. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some of these paths, parts of this um, trail is really smooth. You can see bikes use it, um, bikers use it. I mean, you can see some of the tree um, roots in the path, but basically it's pretty flat. It's a good trail for somebody to walk. Or bike and areas of it where you can do some hiking. What, uh, these things are for more of the cyclists now too. They're going to speed, but you'd be watching the ground for the things. Be... Okay. Oh. Maybe. Or like you said, in it's the winter. Just, it's just marking the trail. In the winter time, they probably use yeah. these little markers on the trees to remind you where the trail is to stay on the trail. I we are, we're assuming we're not sure. Well, quite a few of these trees have that white mark on there so we're assuming that they're markers for the trail right here you see that's a good part of the um nature that the city of niagara falls save as a nature trail you know just let nature do its thing it's beautiful in here i remember as a kid we used to go in the woods like here and we go to look for yams that we don't have um, regularly plant. You only get them in the woods. And we'd pack up our stuff with your meat and stuff. And then we'd find an area that we can put <laughs> our picnic down, blanket down. And we sit down, we cook and eat and enjoy nature that way <laughs> along with the mosquito bites. But we'll have to dress up in long sleeve shirts and basically just about cover our entire bodies except our eyes to prevent being eaten by mosquitoes. But that's a good childhood memory that I remember growing up. Okay, going we're gonna turn around back. We're going in the wild. Anyways. Another day. This is it for today. Maybe another day we can come back and finish this trail somewhere. Like my husband says, it will take you all the way to where? Well, the first trail goes all the way to the Bruce Peninsula and Matunan Island. I don't think we want to walk all the way to Tobamori today, but look at this. Gorgeous, isn't it? We wouldn't get there today. For all those nature lovers, this is a perfect place for you to come for a weekend and, and explore this park.
Sausage ball. So once again the Bruce Trail the entrance to it. From here you can trail walk the trail all the way to Tobamori and then from Tobamori all the way up to you take a, um, a ferry that will take you to the Manitounana Island entrance and then from there you finish your trail up in the Manitounan Island. Hi sweet man. Hi, Hi my baby. Hi,